Welcome to the Sustainable Living Podcast. Tips, tools, and tactics for living a heart-centered life that honors Mother Earth and her inhabitants. The information shared on the Sustainable Living Podcast reflects the opinions of host Marion West, Janice Fryant, and their guests. Please use your own discretion and research before applying any information to your individual situation. Now, here are your hosts, Marion and Janice. Welcome to the podcast, everyone. I'm Janice Fryant. And I'm Marianne Ves. And we decided we wanted to do a quick show just to talk a little bit about the new year and uh, maybe give you some inspiration for what's ahead. Yeah. So first off, Happy New Year, everyone. It's so yes. exciting. <laughs> mm-hmm. 2017. It's, yeah, I, you know, it's so funny because it seems like 2000s so change of the century was just around the corner. So maybe it just shows that we are old now or something. <laughs> so yeah. Time flies like that. <laughs> it really is. It really is. I think we are ending a year where lots of stressful things happen for us, for the world, for everybody. And we're kind of wanting to go forward into the new year with the intention and the vision of creating the best year ever. Yes, absolutely. For me, that always begins with looking back at the last year. And I look at my journal, uh, the things that I've written down over the last year and to see how far I've come. You know, at the beginning of the year, I usually kind of look at uh, what I really want to achieve in the coming year. And I put, you know, for the last few years, I've really been putting the focus on my spiritual development. Looking back at my journal, I can already see that I've come, for me, I've come a long way. And, and that's something that's giving me inspiration to, to move forward and continue with that spiritual journey. For me, you know, meditating, always uh, doing yoga, taking care of my body, getting out in nature, that kind of thing. How about you? So that's really good tips to a the journaling. And I have been an on and off journaler in the past mm-hmm. and often with ideas that I needed to write lots and lots and lots and then there wasn't the time. So I started a new journaling method not invented by me and there are actually journals out there you can purchase. But where you start your day with an inspirational quote and then write down three things you're grateful for and then Mm. three things you want to achieve that day and then an affirmation. I have been doing this consistently now for probably two, three months and because it is so short and concise, it's very doable and then Mm -hmm. you end it in the evening by writing down three things which were wonderful that day and it could Mm. be even like we said before, sometimes it's just that we made it through the day but (laughs) a lot of times (laughs) we can find one or two or three little things, be it a a flower which smelled really good or sometimes it's big things. Waking up with gratitude, going to sleep with gratitude really Mm. makes a big difference. Huge. I I can't emphasize that enough. That's a huge part of my meditation and journaling. Gratitude opens the heart. It allows us to soften and and look at the things we need to fix. It allows us to mend fences, broken relationships. Gratitude does so much. It gives us that higher vibration from which we can leap and just do anything that we want to do. It's it's extremely powerful. Can't emphasize that enough. So yeah, yay for you. And while we are speaking of gratitude, I want to express gratitude to all of you, our listeners, because we are just really blown away with how our podcast has grown and how many people are listening to us and we are just really really grateful yeah thank you thank you thank you so much can't yeah double that on my end i it's i'm extremely grateful to be connected with an audience that thinks the way that we do that understands the power of self-sufficiency and also looking inward and fixing our own issues so that we can move ahead and create that wonderful new earth that we know is just around the corner. For sure. So one of the things I like to implement when planning, and it's actually on my list to do this week, is to create a vision board to just put on either. I'm not a huge drawer, so I use pictures out of magazines and just create freely a big dream of how I want my life to look like. And amazingly, whenever I have done it in the past and looked at said board a few years later, it's like, whoa, this happened, this happened, this happened. (laughs) So it it is 
pretty powerful. <laughs> I've done that too with kind of a more of a picture journal that I, I put things in. But I also have just written down the things that I want to accomplish, the world that I want to see in a year's time, or even just my goals for three years down the road. It's amazing. I find those lists later on. And I do almost always find that everything has come true. Very good. So that's one of our tips. Maybe you find yeah. some time this week. Or if you don't do it before the new year, it's really fine to do it any time in the year. There, We are going with this calendar break, but there are so many different societies which have New Year's at different times. So <laughs> anytime is yeah. a good time to start over and create the life you want to if you're not in the life path you want to but be I, in. That's true. You can do it anytime. But I do think this is a particularly powerful time to be looking at your past and looking at where you want to go. I just traditionally, we have the beginning of the light coming back into the planet, right? right? This is the time when you're going to look at what you want to accomplish. And um, but that's yeah, too far our hemisphere. So just <laughs> yeah, 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 true, true. But one... so what do we want to accomplish with our podcast next year, Janice? Well, I propose that we double our downloads. <laughs> that would be awesome. <laughs> so and that then... means doubling our listenership. Yes. And what I would love to is to hear even more from our listeners. Listeners. I yeah. really, really would love to hear from you what you like, what you don't like, what you would like to talk about, or even if you want to come on the show and explore with us different topics yeah. having to do with creating the world we want to see. Yeah, and we will be doing more and more things built around that, interacting with you all and trying to get your thoughts, your advice, uh, your voice on this podcast. Absolutely. Yeah, because I feel our goal is that we create a tribe, a community said we are all in this together. It's not an up down relationship, we hope. Absolutely. So please do pipe up and give us your thoughts. What you tell us is going to drive the kinds of shows that we're going to do going forward. You really have the opportunity here to be heard. We will listen and we will read whatever you send to us. So please do send it to us. Uh, Janice at sustainablelivingpodcast.com or Mariana at sustainablelivingpodcast.com. We have a couple of other ways you can reach us. We're on Facebook. We're on Twitter. Any Instagram. others? Right? Instagram. Right. I think we're each individually on Instagram. You can follow Sarah, but we also now have our own Sustainable Living Podcast Instagram. So you can follow us on that as well. Yes. So thank you, guys. We're keeping this short. But next yeah. year, expect lots of, we think, fantastic shows. We already have interviewed quite a few interesting people. And we will talk about family, agriculture, creating new kind of economic systems and all kinds of stuff yes so. creating the world all over again in a much better way yes yeah, so happy holidays or happy new year really <laughs> happy new year everyone have a great 2017 take care